Yum is a nice tool because it can be managed. You can create uh, extra repositories or add or remove them. So let's take a look at the Yum repositories. Right here we have a Linux machine that has Yum repositories on it already. If I take a look at the etc yum repos.d directory, I can see there are a couple of files here. Each of these dot repo files is a file that contains information about a repository for CentOS right here. CentOS comes with a lot of packages that are very nice, but sometimes you want packages that are not part of this. So you can do a yum install and add a repository. So if you know what the repository is, you can add it. One of them is epel. So epel release. So I install epel release and then take a look at that directory again. I can see that the etc yum repos.d directory now has two extra repo files. Now, if I go over the, the directory, yum repos d, um, this epel.repo file contains information about where the download package is from. So I cat out this epel release, or epel release repo file, and you can see information about it. It says the epel directory right here contains this mirror list. And I can look at that, and I can see that this one is also enabled, which is nice. What if I don't want the main one? I could also get the debugging ones. So I could change that. So if I go and edit this, and I go in here, I could change enable to zero, and then change enable to one, at which point my epel repository has been removed or disabled and the epel debug info is now enabled and so I'll be getting debug stop debug packages which might be good if I am modifying things I can also look at the epel testing repo and if I want to get the test packages I can grab those as well now if I do a yum install Alpine is one that is not available in the CentOS directories. Normally, if I do yum install Alpine, I can see that it is looking in the epel debug info and it's not there. Well, it was in the epel or is in epel. So I go in and I edit this epel repo. I enable this one. I disable this one over here. I exit out again. Now if I do a yum install Alpine, I can see that it finds Alpine and is willing to install for me. So I can manage my repositories pretty easily this way through installing new repositories. I can edit the files. I can manually create files if I want to, if I have the information. And I can also remove repositories. So if I do a yum remove epel release, that will get rid of it. Now, if I try installing Alpine again, it doesn't have it. So there you go. That's how you can manage your repositories with Yelm.